Steph, hi, hi, Stephanie. Hi, hi ladies. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing well. Good. Really Thanks good. for having us. Well, I have to tell you, I watched a few episodes. And nice. Oh. A few episodes. All right. Lock up your husbands. The mistresses are here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. So were you hooked? Yeah. What did you think? Oh, I, hey, I wish I had friends like yours. <laughs> You guys, um, that's wait till you get to episode five. <laughs> right. Well, that's one of the things that I liked about this is that there were women that you could go to mm -hmm. with problems that normally, you know, some women would never even tell anyone and then would mm. live a miserable life over. Right. Yeah, that's so true. So, how many of you have friends like this? I have a few friends I like do. this. I, I mean, have as one. You're right. As soon as I saw the pilot, I read the pilot, I felt like, oh my God, I know this world mm -hmm. and I know these women. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I'm really lucky enough to have some, some really great, you know, um, girlfriends. Yeah, I have friends since I was, from when I was in high school. And, and it's great when you know, you've known people for a long time because mm -hmm. they know who you are mm -hmm. and you trust them with your deepest deepest secrets because sometimes keeping it in can be toxic and you need oh, yeah. someone mm -hmm. who you can mm -hmm. talk to who who will be there for you and not judge you absolutely or judge you or judge you sometimes you, judge you. Judge sometimes you, you want to be <laughs> judged right. Yeah. right right absolutely right yeah no that's and i think that's the case with a lot of women so what um how did you find this project it's amazing Wow. Well, it's, a B it's from a BBC, you know, a, a remake, but Rochelle, they actually did it for Lifetime. Rochelle has a whole story about right. it was around before. She's been, she's been a mistress forever. <laughs> forever and ever. No, um, I mean, I found the project that way. Like, I, I auditioned for it four years ago and uh, did mm -hmm. it for Lifetime, but it didn't get picked up, fortunately for us. Mm -hmm. And I uh, came back around, I auditioned for it, loved the character, loved the storyline, um, and, yeah, wanted to be a part of it. But I think uh, P Paul Lee, who's the head of ABC, uh, is British, and he really liked the BBC version and was trying to figure out a way to adapt it and went through sort of many development mm -hmm. stages and then finally found a script that he really, really liked. And we have uh, wonderful uh, producers and, and writers who have really molded this to be unique from the BBC version. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we, we all came to it like, like that, just mm -hmm. really loved the material. Well, there are cultural differences from the BBC version and the right. U.S. Version, right, right, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, so tell me, um, each of you, what did you find in common with your character? Because you play it so well. I mean, your characters <laughs> are done very well. I mean, I can start with that. I, <laughs> other than the fact that I was married the day before we shot the pilot, <laughs> and apparently I just sleep with everyone, um, so I didn't relate to that as much. Maybe in college, what? No, I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> scratch that from the record. Uh, but no, there's definitely, as you could tell, I, you know, I love to make jokes. I love to kind of, that's, that's definitely at the core and root of who I am. Um, so I love Jocelyn for that. She's written so well <laughs> that you kind of don't really have to do anything you know you other than I, I i can just kind of say some of these lines that you just can't help but laugh at you know and i really i really related to that i'm very very much like her in the sense of humor in my real life mm -hmm. i th i think i related to uh the fact that savvy is is the first person that's willing to help any of her friends or anyone in her life even as her life is completely unraveling mm -hmm. Um, or it, even when she's completely overwhelmed with what's going on in her life. It was really easy to fall in love with my character because she's so gutsy in the way that she's willing to sort of plunge to, to the darkest place, all in the name of love. And that's something that, you know, I wish, I, you know, personally, I wish I had that much courage, you know, in life. And um, that was certainly, um, you know, completely relatable. <laughs> Uh, and for me, I think her strength is something that I can relate to. I have dealt with um, heartache and pain in my, in my life and, uh, and I've had to overcome it even when I felt like it was too difficult. I had that strength, that inner strength that I didn't even know I had and that's something that April Malloy discovers throughout the mm. season. So, <clears throat> um, do you have input 
into how your characters are um, being worked out in the writer's room or any plots that you, you know, um, think should go one way or another? Or is it I think, I think especially like when we're, uh, that's why it's important to have table reads because the writers and producers are in the room and they hear us, they hear the cadence, they, uh, they start out with their own concept, of course, but I feel like they kind of gear it towards yeah, us. Once, and once they hear things they out, hear loud, it out yeah. loud. We have amazing, strong women, I mean, and men, but because it's a, such a female-driven show, we have amazing, mm -hmm. strong women producers and writers behind it um, that are, were very nurturing and very open to constant discussion, we were constantly, you know, you'd get the next episode and it was like you just thumb through it, oh my, you know, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen, and then there was, there, I, I never felt like there, it was a closed door where you couldn't mm, knock and yes. ask, hey, w w you know, what is, what about this or what about this? But, and things, were we, still, but things were still surprises to even us. Yeah, absolutely, right. which absolutely. Was, which was really fun, you know, to be able to get a script while you're working on a show and mm -hmm. have no idea what's coming up next <laughs> and have it completely be different than where you thought the character right. was going to go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really fun too. But there, you know, there, there, it's a collaboration for mm -hmm. sure, yeah. which is not always the case no. with TV shows. Yeah. I mean, we have some great producers and writers who, you know, keep their ears open, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for this um, series to be you know, premiering, and uh, what do you think the American audience is going to feel? Do you think women are going to feel a little more empowered to um, buy your characters? To what, your characters? Do you, no, do you think you're, um, this is going to help women feel a little more empowered um, by your characters and, and what, you know, the story? Because women are going to get involved in this. And mm -hmm. gonna oh, absolutely. Oh, I, I think, think there's so. going to be a surprise yeah. initially. You know, we've been dealing a lot with the, the title mistresses and what all that means. Um, <coughs> and then you've uh, great and happily seen a couple episodes, so that, that makes me happy. So you, you kind of get, you know, once you see the pilot, it, I think there's a, a little bit of, Oh, these they're actual women. Real people they're and real not, people. Not it's that we're not just running around right. sleeping with husbands. You know, it's, it's just so not like right. that. There's so much more depth and so much more going on. That yeah, and I think I think empowerment. I think empowerment comes from a place of relatability. And if that means that some woman sitting watching, you know, who may have may be a widow or may mm -hmm. have fallen in love with a coworker or may be afraid of commitment and want to be single, you know, they can definitely relate to that. Then. You, yeah, you feel empowered for, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that once this airs, um, you're going to have a lot of women, um, you know, it, very invested in this series. Like oh. I, am. <laughs> I thought it was great. And Yay. I think the ability with the characters. So, you know, I, I don't want to be the jinx because I really liked Body of Truth and I just can't. <laughs> oh, oh, don't be the jinx. That show. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's that's uh, very considerate of you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you that I have watched all the screeners that um, ABC made available. So I think it's um, well written, and your characters are very well played. Thank you oh, so thank much. You. That's so thank sweet so to hear. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time today, and look forward to when it goes live and seeing what uh, the audiences really feel about it. Because we're going to be pushing it out there. Great. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, ladies. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.